they said this he will not wake up he will not breathe he will not move a nightmare for any parent watching their child fighting to survive but tonight there's hope for the family of this cute little 20 month old boy who nearly drowned a month ago 13 action news reporter brian callahan has a look at the treatment they believe will bring him back and why they're in a race to pay for it <laughs> just the happiest little child that I know. Meet Christopher or Kistopher as his family calls him, but his family hasn't seen that smile in over a month. That's not my Christopher right now like he is. Ted and Cynthia Salmon are raising their three grandchildren. Christopher and his brother were in the bath in early July when Ted ran around the corner to get their pajamas. He came back to find Christopher unconscious. That just keeps going through my mind over and over and over again. It, it, it was literally just a split second. Since then, both grandparents have been by his side, hanging on every sign of improvement. He's still in the coma stage, um, but close to actually coming out of it. It was a blessing to see him open his eyes, you know, and look into his nice brown eyes. The salmon say doctors told them Christopher wouldn't get better. But then they saw the story of Eden Carlson, who made a miraculous recovery after a near drowning. Seeing that little girl's video, that was amazing. She was treated in a hyperbaric chamber to help reverse brain damage. Ted says he contacted the doctor and now has a local facility willing to do the same treatment, but it will cost around $12,000. That's $12,000 his insurance will not cover. I'm gonna do everything and anything I can to figure out how to pay for this. They're, I'm not going to let him stay like that. The couple now selling everything they can to raise the money with the hope and confidence that the treatment will bring little Christopher smile back. The sooner we start the treatments, the better. The family is planning to hold a garage sale tomorrow and Saturday to raise any money they can. They've also got a GoFundMe account set up. We've got information on both on KTNV.com along with the story. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Oh, let's hope they raise that money.